Who's you stupid fool? Did you really think you gonna hit me? Huh? Bow, bow, bam! Over. All right, give me your analysis. We just watched the fight right now. How did you score the fight? War versus Cobra? I, yeah, I had it 115 to 113 for Andre. I did have an even round. Obviously, there was the knockdown round. But it was a sensational fight. I mean, um, you know, for, for Ward to get up off the canvas against one of the most devastating light heavyweights that we've seen in a long time, I mean, I don't think he's Archie Moore or Bob Foster, but he's a damn good fighter. And uh, so Andre Ward had to do everything uh, within his arsenal. And versatility is what won the fight for him, in my opinion. But I do understand why people can have it you know, the other way, in yeah. a close fight. Yeah, this, this one could have been a draw. But see, most people don't understand boxing. They don't even know how to score a damn fight. They don't even know the four criteria to score a fight, let alone a fight like this that's so strategic. What this boiled down to is who is doing more of what they wanted to do, and that was Andre Ward. And clearly something happened to Sergey Kovalev. He was affected some kind of way in the second half because all he was really landing was the jab in the yeah, second and, half, and, right? And the, and the reason the reason being is that stuff that Andre does on the inside. You know, I mean, he's on the inside and he's stabbing you stab him with your oh, shoulder plexus. Those kind of shots, you know, I mean, here and here and all that stuff that he does, that's, that's nasty stuff. He's still and, got it, and, 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 you know, he's not used to that. I mean, Kovalev's not used to that. So it's, it's that cool kind of stuff in a chess match. This was like a violent chess match, you know, and uh, so I really enjoy You can tell I'm still fired up about yeah, it. I, yeah. I just want to yeah. see it again, you know. Everyone was on pins and needles watching yeah. it. Was it everyone around you like, like that as well? I was. I don't pay attention to anybody. It's all about Smitty in my world, and in, in this case, it was all about Andre Ward. You know, this guy is a guy that studied my in-ring with Floyd Mayweather that we shot back in 2004. First time he met me, he says, when do I get to be on your show and, and do an in-ring? And, and finally, uh, a couple of nights before Floyd, fought Canelo, he flew himself in on his own damn dime to do my show and get in the ring with me, which is, a, you know, that's a, a blessing in and of itself. So those things that he explained, so much of those um, is what helped him win tonight. But what I'm laughing about is John David Jackson studied that in ring and said to me, I've been watching this for two months and thank you, Smitty. And I said, I don't think Andre uh, told us everything and that he left a little bit out uh, of it. But I, I think it was just such a wonderful fight. This is what boxing is all about. Two of the best fighters on the planet, still in their prime, meeting each other, and it's a great, great fight. And I, and I love it. I'm stoked about it. It was great. Does the rematch look any different? Same? Um, you know, usually when you have rematches and the boxer faces the puncher the second time, the boxer does better because he's already realizes he can handle the power. And I don't think you'd see Andre getting hit with that shot that he got hit with early. So I think he'd be underneath. And he found out that you know he, he, he could get low and go. But... Anyway, it would it, it'll be another great fight, and uh, but I would still pick, you know, the better fighter. That's Andre Ward. Thanks for your time, Smitty. Anything else? Cool. No, no, no. I just uh, I like your show and I like your style, but your pay is so cheap. Don't call for a while. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I MC, learned that from Ali. MC Smitty. I know. I learned that from Ali. MC Smitty, right there. Hi, you're watching Dante.